We gotta do something, Tara. Or the Earth is doomed. Look! They left the door to their flying saucer open. And the motor's running, too. The prisoners will not talk. I don't like doing this to a fellow tomato, but... Hey! What's going on? Put me down! Now! being on the set of a science fiction movie. But how do we operate it? I can barely drive Wilbur's pizza truck. I don't know. Start punching buttons. Welcome to the newly converted Martian Express flying saucer. Do you wish to pilot, or would you prefer me to proceed on automatic? Um, I don't know. What do you think, Tara? Just do it! Now! <laughs> so much for your plan to take over the world, you can't even take over a couple of kids! <laughs> alert! Alert! Battle stations, prepare for auto assault! Destroy! Destroy! This thing's still running in attack mode! We're heading straight for San Zucchini! Oh no! We're on a collision course with the Tomato Task Force! Whitley White of KRUD, the final battle, humans versus aliens, alien tomatoes, is about to begin, and you are watching it live, unrehearsed! But first, back to our main studios for an important message. Thanks for that live on the spot report, Whitley. We'll be back to you in just a minute, but first, this important word. Coming soon to a television set in your neighborhood. Attack of the Killer Tomatoes. Portions of this show may be too intense for adults. Kids, don't miss it. And now, back to the news. Amazing! That was the most exciting battle between men and women and flying saucers that I've ever seen. It was absolutely incredible! What battle? We never saw anything. Relax, we got it all on tape. Film at 11. 11? We want to see it now! Okay, okay. Play it again, Sam. We're attacking Uncle Wilbur! We gotta stop this thing! Ouch! 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 Activated the self-destruct command. I might suggest that you evacuate it as soon as possible. You're 30 seconds to detonation. 29, 28, 27. Look out! It's gonna stand back, Chad boy! I'll handle this! That was well done, Finletto. Great job. <laughs> but there's still two more flying saucers. And a lot of big, ugly Martian tomatoes. I think it's going to rain. I know it's going to rain. Look! It's shrinking the Martian tomatoes. And so, as suddenly as it began, the invasion ended. Oh! We're melting! Melting! The smog-filled rain of San Zucchini proved to be mightier than all the weapons, the Army, the Navy, the Air Force... And the Tomato Task Force... ...could muster. I'll bet you thought that my flu bug was going to do that. Man. Greetings. I'm your host for the Tomato Zone, Rod Swirling. There are billions and billions and billions of worlds in the galaxy. Was this originally written for Carl Sagan or what? But on all the worlds circling all the suns in all the universes, we have yet to find any trace of intelligent vegetable life. Although there have been recorded instances of unintelligent life, particularly on Earth. Hey, 
Fox Kids. You can't see me, but I can see you. Oh, well. I'm hanging out inside your television just long enough to tell you that you got to tune in to Bobby's World. <laughs> you know Bobby, cute little kid, curious, giggles a lot. Whoa, how did you get in here? Watch Bobby's World weekday afternoons after Tasmania and Saturday morning after Master Rider on Fox Kids. Woo! 